so if you've been recording as long as I have, chances are you've done it in a, a ton of different mediums. I at one point had reel to reel plus, you know, four track cassette plus zip drives plus a bunch of computer media. And there's been times when I've lost masters. And so I no longer have the original master or the multi-track recordings to reproduce it. What I'm left with is either some WAV files or some MP3s. And a lot of times the mix is either not kind of what you really wanted, or um, in my case, not only did I have problems with the mix, but I also had problems with my vocal. Um, there was portions of some songs where my vocal was just straight up cringy in places. So I had to fix that before I would ever allow anybody from the public to ever hear some of that early demo stuff. The songs are good. It's just the production stuff, you know, lacked in a few places. So I found a tool called lal.ai, which is L-A-L-A-L.ai. And I've got the link down below, which is just a really cool tool that allows you to separate out different stems of a track. So the demonstration I saw uh, was a guy who uploaded a Beatles song and then deconstructed it. And, you know, so it stripped off the bass, drums, guitars, vocals, and you could remix your own Beatles song. But my mind raced immediately to my own stuff where I've got uh, these MP3s and these WAV files where, gosh, I just wish that I could just fix the mix and or fix the vocal and a lot of times you know it's not it's on a back burner yeah sure i'd love to get in the studio and re-record some of these but i would just like to fix the 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 point in time recording as well so this tool allows me to do that so i'm gonna walk you through uh, just kind of how it works and then uh yeah i'll show you some before and exam and after examples okay cool check it out so this is what it looks like when you go to lol.ai and it's really, really, really straightforward. You select files and basically you can choose what you do with them. Um, up in the right hand corner here, it shows when you bought, buy a block of minutes, it shows you how long you got left. So let's pick something. I'm going to choose um, a wall talker song called Promised Land. Now this file is actually a rehearsal file shortly after I wrote the song and I was showing it to Heather and Chip. We ran through it a few times and then through one mic we recorded um, the, the vocals, the guitar, and then the djembe. My ob objective here is to strip out the vocals from the instrumentation and then be able to fix the mix and then be able to uh, enhance the vocals and add some other instruments on top of it. And so let's go ahead and process this. Um, you can listen to the little preview. I have found that when you try to separate all the instruments, in other words, the drums, the keyboards, and everything else, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but it's really good at splitting off the vocals from the rest of the instruments. And that's what I'm primarily interested in. So this takes a little second, but once it's done, I'm going to download it and then I'm going to drag it into Cakewalk. So let's let's do that. Okay, so I'm in Cakewalk, and what I've done is I've brought in uh, two versions of the of the of the wave file, or actually, I, the original is an MP3 that I uploaded and had separated the uh, the vocal from the rest of the instruments. So I want you to hear the original. This is what the MP3 sounded like. That was just, just basically one mic that we recorded from. So here's that. And then let's listen to what that sounds like. Now, granted, offline, I had brought this in and I had uh, 
did the separation and then I fixed the the vocal mix and then this is what it sounds like. is the value of being able to take that track that otherwise I couldn't edit the mix and the vocal in the same fashion using anything else. So there's some immense value. This is another example of a file where I took the song that I really wanted to resurrect and I was able to separate the vocals from the rest of the instruments, fix the mix, fix the vocal, and then happy to have people hear this song now. Should I whisper to you, whisper what I've heard? I heard that open flying in. So that's it in a nutshell. So I hope you get a chance to check it out. And you know, the thing with AI is that it's not quite there yet. Um, you know, there's always the, the debate about what's too much, and what's too far. I don't really look at AI as something I want to create for me as much as I want to have it help with my already existing workflows, or in this case, do something that I currently can't do technologically with the gear I have. And that's what lol that AI does. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It'll really help us out a lot. Check out one of these two full albums that I've used the technique on and are available here on YouTube. Thanks again.